Notion just released a brand new update allowing you to create native automations with the new Notion buttons. You can use these buttons to track your habits, navigate between pages, reschedule overdue tasks and so much more. This video will cover 9 different ways to use these new buttons, starting with the first one being for tracking your habits. At the top we have a button to add a new database entry for today and then we have 4 buttons, one for each habit, that will mark the habit as complete when we click on them. So let's now create the first button. Throughout the video we'll cover each different button option but for this one let's choose the add pages option. Go ahead and select your habit tracker database and for the name add it to dimension using the add symbol. Now just click on edit another property and choose the date property. You'll see you can either add today's date, the current date and time or choose a specific date. Let's select the today option. Give your button a name and an icon and click done. Now if your habit tracker is filtered to today and you click on this button, you should see a new database entry pop up. And now for checking off the habits, create a new button and select the edit pages option. Choose your habit tracker database, add a filter to only edit the pages which have today's date and then select one of your habits and mark the checkbox as complete. And then just add a name and an icon to your button. So now when you click this button, it should mark the habit as complete. Now just duplicate this button and change the relevant information for all of your habits. Then simply drag your buttons next to each other and there you go, a habit tracker that only uses buttons. Moving on to number 2 is using the buttons to load default tasks. Let's say you have a new YouTube video. When you create a new project and click on the YouTube template button, it will load an icon as well as a button. And when you click on this button, it will load all of the default tasks you need in order to create the video. To set this up we first need to create a new template button, add an icon and then add our button. Select the add pages option and then just type in the name of your task. Then for the date property, add today. For the person property, you can assign a specific team member or you can assign the person who ever clicked on the button. And then for the relation property you want to select this page. This will automatically relate the task that's been created with the current project. And then just duplicate this step and change the name of your tasks until you've added all of your default tasks. Then just give your button a name and an icon and there you go. You have a button that will instantly load all of your default tasks. Next up is rescheduling overdue tasks. If you have tasks that you forgot to complete or reschedule, you can just click this button and it will assign all the overdue tasks to today and also give them a high priority. To create this, you want to select the edit pages option and add a filter to make changes to tasks with a due date before today and where the task isn't marked as complete. For the date property you want to select today and for the priority property you want to select the highest priority possible since this task already needed to be done. For this example we can also add another step and add a confirmation so we don't have to worry about accidentally clicking the button and moving all of our tasks around when we don't want to. The next method is using buttons to create a navigation bar to get around your Notion workspace a lot quicker. For this we are going to be using the open pages option. Select your first page and make it open as a full page. Go ahead and give your button an icon but not a name as this makes it look a lot cleaner and it also works for single width pages. Duplicate your button and change the page you want to open as well as the icon and then just drag your buttons next to each other. Now in order to add them into a synced block, you'd need to copy all of your buttons, create a new full width page, paste them inside, go back to your main page and add a synced block, drop your page inside, turn the page into text and then at the top just click backspace. Then all that's left is to just copy the synced block and paste it inside every page linked in your navigation bar. And there you go, a clean looking navigation bar. If you want access to this freelancer dashboard, then just check out the first link in the description below. Next up is a section where you can quickly create new database entries and have the page open up in a side peak view so you can add a name and the relevant properties. To create this, simply use the add pages option, select your database, add any relevant properties and then add another step to open up a page. Choose the dynamic option to open up the page created and then make sure it opens up in a side peak view. Add a name and an icon to your button and then just repeat this step for every single button and then add them inside a toggle to your dashboard. Now another thing you can do with buttons is add them inside other buttons. I don't know exactly how you would use this but nonetheless this is something you can do. To do this you want to use the insert blocks option where you can add any notion block, database or even notion AI prompt inside the button but for this example we want to add another button which also uses the insert blocks option so that we can add yet another button inside of that one. 
You can of course take this concept further, but I think you get the idea. The next use case for buttons would be if you're blocking time inside of Notion. You can have a weekly calendar view database with a text property for the time and a select property for the type and then sort your calendar to the time. Now you can of course manually block out your time for the day or week, but if you have a bunch of time blocks you use each day, then just create a button containing all of those blocks. Simply add the name, the time, the type, today for the date and of course a name and icon for your button. Now you can use this button to quickly load all the time blocks for each day or you can even create separate buttons for Monday to Sunday and personalize your blocks for each day. This next one is pretty cool. You can have a button that automatically opens up your calendar with all of your unscheduled tasks in a side peak view so you can just drag and drop them onto your calendar and quickly schedule them. For this we want to use the open page option where the first one will open your calendar as a full page and then the second one will open your tasks database in a side peak view showing a filtered view for your unscheduled tasks. And you can of course run with this idea and create a button for all your main workflows, dashboards, projects, clients etc. This last one is to show or hide certain database entries. If I click this first button it will hide all of the tasks that are marked as done and the second one will show them again on the calendar. And the other two buttons does the exact same but it's just for all the tasks that is due before today. To do this you'd need to add a checkbox property to your tasks called archive and filter your database to not show any tasks with the archive property checked. Then add your first button and use the edit pages option, filter it to the tasks you want to hide or show and then make it check the archive property. And then just duplicate this button and change the archive property to unchecked. And now you can easily hide or show any irrelevant or unnecessary information in your database. And that's it. Those are my 9 ideas for using Notion buttons. Be sure to give this video a like if you found it useful. And make sure to check out this next video showing you everything you need to know to upgrade the aesthetics of your Notion dashboard.